And so what do people, what, how are the Russian viewers responding to the more, to my reliance on Alexander Solzhenitsyn and my, my use of the events in the Soviet Union in the 20th century? I don't know how Solzhenitsyn is regarded in Russia now. People in Russia have a critical attitude towards him in general. Solzhenitsyn is a unique writer, and this is recognized by everyone. However, what he described in his works is rather his point of view. It's a cry from his heart. It's a work of fiction. And the problem is that this work of fiction began to be perceived as a documentary. And when the Soviet Union began to fall, those who dealt the final blows to it, they did it in the name of Solzhenitsyn. And it was really hard for the ordinary people, because after 1991, more than 100,000 enterprises were closed down. Overnight, the country plunged into chaos. And for 20 years, all the media kept telling us that all the people in our country were to blame for the Soviet Union and that they had to redeem themselves in the eyes of Alexander Isayevich, in the eyes of the Western world. And it caused people a lot of pain, because they weren't doing anything wrong. They were working in institutes, they were translating books, they were raising children, and then suddenly all the media started humiliating them. And the sense of guilt they tried to create was so painful that after 1991, in the 90s, there was a huge wave of suicides. People didn't know how to live their lives anymore. This information kept being shoved in their faces. They kept being told that it was their fault that people were being exterminated in the concentration camps, although they had nothing to do with it. And that is why people have mixed feelings towards Alexander Isayevich. And everyone understands that it was a terrible time and a very difficult one. And this wound has not healed to this day. And even now, as we're talking, as I get back to those events, what? 